Oh no. They're subjecting PC players to my dojo again. Well, might as well take another tour. It's been a while since my last one. Things have changed a lot since January. I've torn down and rebuilt about two thirds of the place. Okay, wow. We'll get to this room, but I'm gonna go straight down the transporter list. Cat branch. It's a crimson branch with cats in it. Yep, always start off strong. And right to the corn maze. This was here last time, but I've added a few things. Huge ass tree. Cheat proof ceilings. And lots and lots of floofs. It started off with a couple of floof conversations to make it a little less lonely, and now they're frickin' everywhere. Every room in this dojo has floofs in it. About once a week I'll come in and add a few more. Anyway, it was so much fun filling a maze with smart-ass floofs that I did it two more times. One on either side. Different tree, different layout, same idea. I had a small garden I couldn't get rid of, so I made another maze at one quarter scale. This is right on the edge of the capacity limit. Okay, we're back at this one. The challenge here was to completely mask a forest chamber with Narmar pieces and lure rocks. The only things I wanted visible were the water and all 10 doors. There's a ton of nooks and crannies in here. And of course there's floofs. I think it looks pretty cool. Jeez, look at that goddamn ceiling. Let's just drink this in for a minute. Alright, enough of that crap. Moving on, it's the same idea but with an infested chamber. This one's essentially just a fancy hallway. I was just looking for an excuse to go nuts with pipes. I need to put more floofs in here. What's next? The dry dock? Eh, not much has changed here. Just a friendly greeting and some real talk. I don't really know what to do with this room yet. Okay, you guys. I discovered this space at the bottom of the Grenier lab. I thought it looked like an oven, so of course I'm baking floofs. The obligatory room filled with nothing but bubbles. Moving on, the obligatory shadow art. I thought it would be easy to do my glyph and I was wrong. Yeah, it doesn't work that great close up. There are five layers of tributes here, so I got that going for me. And as seen on TV, Excalibur. When you transport in, just stand there and look up. Put the tip of the sword right above the corner of your minimap. That's about right. I do still plan on making a how-to video about this, since there are some lessons learned I'd like to share. Okay, are you ready for a fully decorated observatory? It's a tree. Ta-da! Moving on. The Harry Room is a copy of something I blew away when rebuilding my old dojo. I had to redo it because I love this effect. It's simple but cool. Okay, now we're hitting the labs. First up is the bio lab. The labs are pretty much just floof scenes. If you've ever hunted these things in the Campion Drift, then you've seen this a lot. I don't remember what these are called, but I have way too many of them. Ah, the Money Pit. This is an old one that I'm pretty proud of. I did this before I knew how to do radials. It's not too bad for being all hand positioned. Anyway, this room is also where I first started messing with the console camera. If I don't put something in front of it, this room looks... Pretty dumb. I like this so much that I've done something to the console camera in almost every room. 
Sometimes I'm covering up a mask. Sometimes it's just an excuse for more floofs. The most elaborate one is in the Harry room. I built a whole separate copy up where the camera is. <laughs> if you look for this floof outside of decorator mode, then you're not gonna find it. Moving on to the obstacle course. The course itself hasn't changed since I built it a thousand years ago, but I was stuck with a small garden in front of it, so I built a scale model. You can see the layout of the interior with all the laser fields and target dummies, and you can follow the exterior all the way around. It's a pretty loose model and runs head first into the capacity limit, but I don't think I've seen something like this anywhere else. Okay, the Oricon Lab is just floof spin floofs. I'm still working on this one. And the Bash Lab has been taken over by rats. <laughs> this one cracks me up every time. The Energy Lab is floofs with no safety oversight. This might be my favorite lab. Just hijinks everywhere. And the Tenno Lab. More floofs. You have no idea how hard it was to get that Kuaka in there. Ah, we finally got to the Space Playground. There's a lot of stuff going on. The next 10 transporters are all here. Space Ball Pit. Self-explanatory. Balls in space. Space Diving Board. Ah, I can never get a perfect score out of the Venus Judge. Space Parent Lounge, if you just want to have a mimosa and watch the floofs. Fun fact, there's a Starlight Market right next door, and this is where there used to be an extra piece of glass clipping into the open space. After being there for years, they finally fixed it a few months ago, so I had to build my own glass. And the Space Slides. Two of them we've seen before. Find the gaps. And the Gentle Slide for Babies. The three in the middle are new. The Barfatron is a giant corkscrew. My favorite way to do this is to keep sliding in one direction and not touch anything. Airtime is self-explanatory. Dead Drop may be my favorite, even though it hardly qualifies as a slide. All right, moving on to Superconductor. This is another one from before I knew how to do radials. The original idea was to make a full mandacord, which I immediately scaled back after realizing it would be a huge pain in the ass. And then, like an idiot, I went back and did it for real. There's 832 of these, and it probably took about six or seven hours, not counting all the prep work. The spindle thing in the middle was the fun part. And Cephalon Suda looking down on you like a judgmental geometry lesson. I'm thinking about making another how-to video on this room because I did learn some interesting things about rotation and radials. So what song did I put on this giant mandacord? Deep down in our hearts, we all know what this is, but if you want to know for sure, then you'll just have to copy it down and find out. Okay, we've reached the obligatory trophy room. Oh hey, that's a pacifism defect. That one did suck. This room contains what may be my favorite floof. He just wants to know what the giant Loki's up to. What else? Oh, it's the ground floor of the Grenier Lab. I had a shitload of bird floops left over from Excalibur, so I went Hitchcock on this one. Last and least, the throwback room. I built this in 2017, back when every decoration cost more than one capacity. As capacity and decoration has increased over the years, I've added a few things, but all the original stuff is still there. Yep. Well, that's it. The rest of the transporters are areas where I test stuff out for DojoCAD and works in progress. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the string of 11 tree spaces I built to get around the back of the dry dock. I kinda like just looking at the dead end doors floating in space. Well, thanks for spending, oh wow, nine and a half minutes with my insanity. Sorry about that. These days I don't have as much time to build as I'd like, which is why I mostly just drop floofs whenever I can. So, this is funner in hell, and I'll be doing more eventually. Until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>